you guys look at this a problem, right? We have too many fractions, just like the rational equations. There was too many fractions. So if we can identify the LCD, then we can get rid of the fractions. So we have one fraction, two fractions, and then one big whole fraction. Agreed? So if we just get rid of these smaller fractions, if, we just, if we're just dealing with one big fraction, we can handle that. That's like the first thing we learned was simplifying you know, a rational expression. So we look at this and say, all right, well, what's the LCD of, this, of all of these denominators? Just x minus 2. So what we're going to do is I'm going to multiply everything times x minus 2. Everything. So 4 times x minus 2 is 4 times x minus 2. 1 over x minus 2 times x minus 2, those would divide out. That's just going to leave me with a 1. Over here, it's going to be 3 times x minus 2. And then x minus 2 times x minus 2 is going to be a minus 1. So do you guys see, just like the last equation, by multiplying by the LCD, now I just have one big fraction. That's it. That's a lot easier for me to solve from here, right? Or to simplify. Apply just a little distributive property, combine some like terms. Ooh. Mr. McLogan said simplify. Should I divide out the sevens? What do you mean? They're the same. Same in the numerator, same as the denominator. Divide them out, right? Come on. Now I know somebody wants to do it. Yes. 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 But no. Because no, they're not, you have terms. The sevens are not separated by multiplication, right? They're separated by subtraction. So even though you want to do it and it feels really good to do it, you can't do it, right? You're going to be changing the expression if you do that, OK? We can only divide out terms that are separated by multiple, when they have quantities separated by multiplication and division, all right? So therefore, let's look at the excluded values. Because remember, that was something we talked about at the, um, at the beginning of the lesson. So in this case, we know x cannot equal 2, right? Because in the original problem, that would make the denominator equal to 0. Yes? But what about in our simplified answer? What's going to make our denominator 0 here? Set it equal to 0 and solve. You get 7 thirds. OK? Yes? I just set the denominator equal to 0. I didn't show my work because I was hoping you guys are getting more and more comfortable with that.